What's going on fellow podcasters? I hope you're having a great Sunday. I just wanted to make this video real quick uh, to address what happened last week. But before I do that, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Thomas Jordan. I spent 10 years in broadcast news as a uh, reporter for news and entertainment news and things like that. And I think over the course of my career, I've done at least 5,000 interviews. I've talked to so many different types of people. I moved around the country for 10 years and spoken to just about every celebrity uh, that walks the planet Earth. So um, this channel is for, I focus on podcasting. So I help people, you'll hear me say it all the time, I help people grow their network and their net worth with video podcasting and podcast interviews. So that is what my channel is about now. And what happened last week is I do what they call, or what I call a podcast interview breakdown, where I literally am sitting side by side virtually uh, to these interviews, right? And I'm just providing people who have a podcast or thinking about starting one, just as much value as I can, like showing them how to be curious, how to communicate, how to ask questions, how to ask follow-up questions, and any little like detail that I can show them without having to do those, like if I have to, do, I'll be honest, if I have to do one more tutorial video and I'll probably still do them, or I'm like tip number one, do this, tip number two, do that. It's just really hard for me to do it. So it's my unique way of showing people how to properly interview others, whether they're, you know, just your average Joe or else, or they're somebody like a celebrity. Um, but I was doing one to the full send podcast. They had Donald Trump on and I knew that it was going to pop. And it was interesting because at the very end, Trump said that the internet was going to take it down. I interjected my commentary and was like, how crazy would this be? If theirs got taken down, but mine didn't. And for a short period of time, that's exactly what happened. YouTube took it down for misinformation. And mine was the only video there. Mine was the only video on YouTube that was in crystal clear quality. My face is on the thing. I thought that thing was good. I blew up, but I thought it was really going to blow up. Um, but eventually... Same thing happened. I split it into two parts just in case that were to happen. And that's exactly what happened. My first one got completely taken off like hard. It is gone. And the second one um, got taken down as well. Uh, I got warnings uh, for it. So I don't have a super strike or copyright strike on my channel. Thank God. But it's just crazy to me. Uh, with the internet and what certain companies allow. Like it's... It's not fair, <laughs> but you know what? Life's not fair, and what do they say? It's not worth crying over spilled milk. Like I got to interact with a ton of people who are newcomers here, and you guys are awesome. Uh, I talked to one girl, or one girl left a comment saying that, like, this is a very unique way of doing content, and like that just validated everything for me. So to that person, I thank you so much. Um, but I also want to make it clear that this channel is not a political channel. I just, I, I'll be straight up with you. I knew that this was going to pop. So I, I had a chance of going viral and I chased the trend. Um, and this is kind of what happens. So like I said, there's not going to be any political commentary on here, but I do take requests to do interview breakdowns. So if there is an interview you saw, that you liked or found interesting, then definitely let me know. So just tag it in the comments below or like, hey, did you see this interview with so-and-so? Because if you look back on my channel right now, I've got one with Kodak Black from the Full Send Podcast. I've got one with Mr. Beast. Uh, I did one with Gary Vee and Mark Zuckerberg. That was really interesting. But it's stuff like that. Like there's enough craziness going. That's why I got out of that industry because it was just, you were depressed all the time and everybody's fighting all the time. And that's not, it's not what I'm here to do. Um, I definitely just want to be here and provide value and take you along the journey with me. I know people say that all the time, but it's just like, just get a break from everything that's going on right now. Um, this is a safe space. I welcome everybody here. Like I said, as long as you're 
down the middle and just want, wanting to, if you can have a conversation with other, other people who have opposing views, that's the type of people I want to attract. It's people on the extreme opposite ends of the spectrum that kind of uh, ruin it for everybody. And that's not the crowd I'm trying to uh, attract. And that being said, even though the way YouTube works, um, it doesn't matter. Subscribers, regardless, doesn't matter to me. The views don't matter. I care about conversions and I want to help as many people as I possibly can. So if you, I recently just hit a thousand. So if you had come up with, you know, going forward, if you came up with me and you love my content, and you're watching it, totally cool. But if you don't, I'm not going to take it personal if you unsubscribe because the way the algorithm works now is yeah, you're subscribed to me, but if you're not interested in podcasting, video podcasting or podcast interviews and you just don't watch my stuff and you just scroll by it or you don't see it, like my video dies and it doesn't, nothing, nothing happens. And it's just, it, it basically, it hurts me, <laughs> which is kind of weird because you hear everybody like subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. You'll never, ever, ever, ever hear me, hear me say that. Um, so if also, and if you were a newcomer, from the uh, Trump interview. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, that's totally cool. But I just wanted to let you know, like, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not a political channel. So I just wanted to make that clear as well. Um, so that being said, I'm truly grateful for all of you, whether you unsubscribe or not, all those people that watch, watch my content, subscribe to my lead magnet, which, like I said, help you. I really want to work with everybody. So, um, I just want to let you know I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. I have a part two of the Kodak Black interview coming up on Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, put it in the comment section below. But that's all I got for you. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night.